Wander Wealthy Podcast, episode 217. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the Wander Wealthy Podcast. If you're brand new here, welcome to you. My name is Tess Wicks. I am the host of this show. I'm the founder of Wander Wealthy, and <clears throat> I may just be your new business coach, the one that you have been waiting for. I specifically help money coaches build their life-changing coaching programs so that they can make more money and more impact in 90 days. And if that's what you're looking for, then this is the perfect place for you to be today. We're going to talk about something that is, it's, it's, it's not a question I get. It's a it's a problem I hear over and over and over again from the money coaches that I talk to on a day-to-day basis. And that is that they're really struggling to find their ideal clients. So this is a topic that I obviously love to talk about. If you're not new here, you know, because I'm all about that niching work. And I'm not going to necessarily, am I? <sighs> I don't know. It's probably going to be a little bit more about niching. But here's, this is why. And if if you've heard about niching before from me and you're feeling like a little burnt out by the idea of niching, I want you to listen because we all do this. We understand the power of niching and then we don't do it. We're not willing to go there because it's uncomfortable because it feels like the opposite of what we should be doing, especially if we don't have clients yet or we're having a hard time finding our clients, we think, okay, maybe I should just broaden who I help. Maybe I should start offering something additional. Maybe I should start offering something new that I haven't offered in the past. And even though mentally you think that's the smartest thing to do, that's the exact opposite of what you should be doing. And the reason is because when you get more broad, when you offer more things, when you become a jack of, jack, a jack of all trades, you become a master of none, right? You become a generalist as opposed to a specialist. It dilutes your brand. It dilutes your value. And it confuses the people who you are ultimately trying to find. So... I hate to say it, but it really is going to start with the niche, okay? Before we get too far into this, I do want to introduce this week's sponsor, which is the sponsor of all sponsors. It's the Wealthy Coach Blueprint. So if you're new, you don't know. If you aren't new, you know all about it. But the Wealthy Coach Blueprint is my 12-week business building program for new aspiring, and even frustrated money coaches. If you've been doing money coaching for a while, but you're not getting the results you're looking for, then it might be time to hit the reset button or at least the refresh button. What we do in the blueprint is we help you define or refine your niche market, your ideal clientele. We help you figure out how to find them, which yes, I'm going to share a little bit in this episode, but we go deep with it. And it's very, very effective. And ultimately, we use all that information to build your life-changing coaching program so that you can truly see, believe, and know that what you have to offer is worth the price point that you're going to be charging for it. And you should be shouting it from the rooftops and talking about it nonstop so that you can make sure that your ideal clients know about it They sign up to work with you and you can change their lives in that process. So that is what we do inside of this 90-day program. And the next round, we're going to be doing a group round this summer. It is kicking off mid-June and you can get yourself on the wait list so you can be the first to know when we are opening enrollment. We usually open enrollment for about a month before we get things started, but we're doing something a little bit different this year that I'm really excited about. More to come on that. I mean, we still have some time. Um, And we're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge thing and giving away some really awesome bonuses to people who sign up earlier on. So in order to get access to those, you got to get on the wait list by going to wanderwealthy.com slash apply. 
super easy. Type it into your phone, scroll all the way to the bottom of that page and hit the button and then you just type in your email address and you're good to go. Okay. WanderWealthy.com slash apply. The Wealthy Coach Blueprint is here. It's ready to change your life. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Instagram or send me an email. Tess at WanderWealthy.com or at Tess underscore Wix on Instagram. All right. Okay. How do you find your clients? So this was this is going to be a little bit of a quick hitter because it is pretty simple for the most part. Um, but that niching thing that I talked about earlier is vital for you to understand how to find your clients. Because here's the problem that I see with most coaches is, you know, they come to me and they say, I don't know how to find my clients. And then I say, okay, well, you know, who who is your client? And then we get to talking a little bit more and um, I'm understanding what has really gotten them to this point where they're reaching out to me and asking for my help. And usually it's because they feel scattered, they feel lost, and they feel they feel confused. They're doing all the things and yet getting nothing in return. They're on every single platform. They're trying to create content for all these different platforms. They're setting up an email list. They're setting up their funnels. They're creating these like low price courses and free digital downloads or very low price digital downloads. And that's all good and 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 great, but it does nothing if you can't find your clients and especially if you can't, you know, create a consistent stream of income from clients, no matter how many you have, whether that's a big, you know, amount or small, if you can't create that consistent stream of income that gets you into this unsustainable place. So here we are and we're sitting here thinking, well, I just need to create more. I just need to to post more. I just need to be on more platforms. I need to create for more people. And again, that's the actual opposite way to do it. So how do you find your clients? You start with your niche. If you're tempted to go bigger, I would say go smaller. Be willing to go there and specify even further who your niche is. This is why. The trick to finding your clients is showing up where they're hanging out. I've been talking about this a little bit in the messaging, the recent messaging episode and um, last week's episode when we talked about the saturation of the market. But you have to know where your clients are hanging out and forget all the rest, okay? So you're on all these different platforms, most likely. You have an email list, you have a blog, you're considering doing a podcast, you're considering adding more so that you can get like make sure that you're getting in front of even more people, but we want to do the opposite. And how do we do the opposite confidently? We find a unique specific group of people and we identify where they hang out the most, okay? This is what we do in the blueprint. We do a lot of market research to really uncover this, but you want to slim down your your client pool your ideal client pool, your niche market. And again, just to to repeat, your niche isn't just who, it's also what. And so that can add a little bit of trickiness, but still we're going to we're going to do our research and we're going to find where the majority of people, what platform is the the most popular platform amongst the majority of your ideal clients. And we're going to hang out there. And we're going to be experts there. So not only are you going to be a specialist with the people you you help and the problem you solve, instead of trying to solve all the problems and help all the people, you're going to be a specialist with the people you help and the problem you solve. You're also going to specialize on this one platform that your ideal clients are hanging out. So that could be Facebook, it could be LinkedIn, it could be TikTok, it could be Twitter, it could be Instagram, it could be blog posting and then using SEO or blog posting and then using Pinterest. It could be it could be podcasting, it could be YouTube. We have to understand what, and I will I'll let you in on a little secret. It is much easier to do this. Um, at least, you know, I consider it to be much easier to do this on a social platform that allows you to directly interact with the people who are consuming your content. So instead of a blog, because blogs are a little bit more like one to many, um, and also instead of YouTube, again, one to many podcasts are even more so detached. Like, I don't know who's listening. I just, you know, I have a feeling that we have a pretty good connection, but like, I don't know for sure 
who's listening, except for those of you who do send me a message on Instagram, and I really appreciate that. And hello, I know exactly I am thinking about you, not in a creepy way, but I'm, I have you in my mind, and I know you listen, so thank you. But podcast, blog posts, YouTube are a little bit harder to directly interact with your client because they don't have their own profiles always that you can go and start, you know, engaging with. So typically, we're going to be looking at TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, what am I missing? Did I get it? Well, insert whatever other platform where like everyone has their own individual profile so you can connect like that. Okay, Finding where, again, the majority of your ideal clients are hanging out and what is the most popular platform amongst them, and then just becoming the expert on that one. It allows, it does so much for you. Like, yes, it simplifies your life. It makes your business a lot easier to run. It makes your content a lot easier to create and publish. But it also allows you to understand how to even more optimize that one platform and get really good at it. And because a majority of your clients are hanging out there, because it's the most popular platform for your ideal clients, it's going to give you the best payoff too, right? A lot of business is like optimizing, testing and optimizing, test and optimize, test and optimize. You're not always going to get it right the first round or even the 15th round, but every single round you should work on getting it more precise and better, and that's what you can do. And, and you could do this when you're first starting by not spreading yourself so thin and then not knowing or not having enough data to test and then optimize. So test and optimize with your one platform and go hard there. And there, there like that's the first level of finding your ideal clients. The next level is identifying ways where you can infiltrate those communities. Okay, so on Facebook, that's probably going to be groups. It might be pages. But finding where, like, you know your clients are hanging out, and I mean this is virtually, but, like, are they following a page? Are they inside of certain groups? And how can you infiltrate these groups in a way that's obviously, like, following the rules, but, like, getting yourself seen and heard and in there? Same with, you know, if they're following a page – there you have a a list of almost most likely like it's not going to be 100% chance but even if it's a 50-50% chance that that list of followers of that page are going to be your ideal clients that's a jackpot you found your ideal clients right so if we take this so that's that's facebook that's a majority of of how you can do it also on facebook depending on your client you might be able to use a search bar to search for certain um, job descriptions or, you know, certain, I don't know, relationship statuses or location, right? Again, list of potential ideal clients. I don't know if Facebook does hashtag search or hashtags in general, but that could potentially be another one. If we go over to Instagram, there's not so much groups, but you have influencers who have followings. And again, if you have a majority of your ideal clients potentially following those, you can infiltrate those that community. And there's hashtags too. You can search hashtags. So think about the hashtags that your ideal clients are using. I can guarantee it's probably not hashtag money coach. It's probably hashtag getting married or hashtag student loans suck or hashtag um, actuary problems, which is a hashtag I used to use if your clients might potentially be actuaries. So you could search based off of hashtags. You can search based off of location. And you can also search, again, based off of, you know, how they might um, define themselves, how they might, you know, put their potentially job description in their profile. So it's a way to, again, find your clients in a very targeted way. If we move over to LinkedIn, a lot of times, you know, your clients who might hang out on LinkedIn are probably very career focused and you can search. There are groups on LinkedIn. I don't think they're like that popular or effective, but that is an option. But you can also search by career and by location, um, by position in certain companies, by companies. And so on and so forth. Twitter is a little bit harder. 
Um, but again, if your clients are on Twitter, you can definitely do that. I would probably say search by hashtags or like I think there's Twitter groups. I'm not the expert here, but it's possible to, you know, figure it out. And then you have TikTok, which again, I haven't been very familiar with it, but it is a a profile to profile platform. So there is potential there. Now there I know there are other apps, of course, that there's something like Clubhouse, if you've heard of Clubhouse. I think that's a way that you can definitely get in the actual, like, you know, they're literally called rooms, but they're virtual rooms and join the conversation. The problem with Clubhouse, in my opinion, is there it's it has to be a two platform system. Clubhouse will directly link you to Twitter or Instagram and so your clients also have to be on those two platforms so that you can have content that showcases your expertise, what you do, what you offer. So the idea is that you get in the rooms, you get in front of your clients, but then they have to go back to your Instagram profile to really be able to see, you know, what it is that you offer and, and latch onto that content. But it can be a strategy if you know that your ideal clients are hanging out there. Okay. So there's there's definitely other platforms, but these are some of the few. And these are some specific ideas of how if you do the niching work, if you're willing to go get more specific with who it is you help and what you help them do, and you're willing to even interview them or research them to identify like the most popular platform they're hanging out on and then and not most popular like in popularity but most popular amongst them what they mostly prefer and then you get become an expert on that platform and then you find within that platform how people kind of identify right how do they create their communities on the platform is it through following influencers is it through like using hashtags is it through um geotagging is it through identifying themselves that then you can search to find them there's lots of different ways that you can do this and take it one step further and ultimately like this is it this is how you find your ideal clients how you engage them how you get them to turn into actual clients that's a that's another podcast and we kind of talked about it a little bit in the last episode so go check that out Um, but there's obviously more to come from that but this is that secret sauce go find those communities get into those communities engage with those communities don't be weird or creepy be honest be upfront and be helpful be useful and be friendly and be engaging Right? This is the world of online marketing and utilizing social media, which at the end of the day is meant to be social, but also utilizing it and leveraging it to make a bigger impact and also for you to make an income and build your business. So that's how it goes. That's how you find your ideal clients. If you have questions, I'd love to answer them. Send me a message on Instagram. I'm at Tess underscore Wix. That's my platform and that's what I know a majority of my clients are hanging out on. Even if it's not you, you might be the exception. Um, But that is where I hang out the most. If you don't want to come hang out with me on Instagram, you can also send me an email, Tess at WanderWealthy.com. And don't forget to get on the wait list for the Wealthy Coach Blueprint by going to WanderWealthy.com slash apply You can sign up. You'll be the first to know about some special bonuses I have for early birds signing up for this summer's round, as well as anything else that we have going on that's going to be fun in the next couple of months. And with that, I will say one last thing, which is that the episode show notes can be found at wanderwealthypodcast.com slash podcast slash episode 217. And with that... (laughs) A second time. I hope you have a wonderful week, weekend, wherever you're at, day, night. And until next time, I hope you wander wealthy. Well